Hi, this is Brittany from Devise and Conquer Coaching, and I'm here to talk to you about getting more work done with fewer distractions from your phone or using Do Not Disturb. These are for those days when you want to get some work done, but you notice every tiny little distraction or notification is throwing you off pace when you can't quite get into the groove. This is for those days. My top tip is put the phone down. Okay, I'm kind of kidding, but not entirely. There's a little known secret in some newer phones, which is if the screen is locked and you put it face down on the table, a lot of notifications won't go through. A few notifications will still go through, but a lot will get filtered out. This doesn't work if you're wearing a watch. If you're wearing a watch, the notifications will still go to your watch, but the ones on the phone will not make a sound. So this one, it's very little effort. Just set it down face down. You can actually turn on do not disturb while you work. It's pretty straightforward. You get into your control center by swiping up or swiping down. And it's just that little moon icon. You can turn it on, turn it off. Another secret tip is if you press and hold on it, you can actually pick different contexts. These are great. So I could say for one hour, until I leave this location, that's one of my favorites. Using these options, you can say, for example, not to disturb you until the end of a meeting. I have an automation to not disturb me while I'm in a client meeting. So it's going to turn on do not disturb until the end of that specific scheduled client meeting. If the client tries to go over, I'm gonna start getting notifications. Helps me end on time. And no, I do not remember to turn that on manually every time I have a client meeting. I use an automation. I use the Shortcuts app, which is now included in iOS 13. And with this, I have an automation that will do a few steps, including starting my timer so I can track my time and turning on do not disturb so I don't get disturbed during our meeting. There are a few different options for do not disturb. You can allow calls from favorites, for example. This was really important when I was one of the primary caregivers for my grandfather. I needed any of the other caregivers and his emergency line to get through if something was wrong. You can also allow repeat calls through. That is when you get called twice by the same person within a short period of time, it will still get through do not disturb. And the most important automation for do not disturb is what's built right in. Have a schedule. If you usually go to bed around the same time and wake up at the same time, why would you let every possible sound through to wake you up? Again, with the caveats that if there is someone crucial, they can still get through. Another setting in Do Not Disturb is to allow notifications while the phone is unlocked or locked. Personally, if I have Do Not Disturb on, I want nothing getting through because I'm probably trying to get important work done. Or maybe I forgot to shut off my phone before I went to sleep and the screen's still on. Sorry, it happens. There are actually quite a few different settings for Do Not Disturb, so let's take a look. Go into the Settings app, and it has its own section for Do Not Disturb. You can see I have a scheduled Do Not Disturb from 9 p.m. until 8 a.m. It doesn't actually matter very much on this iPad because I don't let a lot of notifications go to my iPad, but just in case it's there. If I got a call in the middle of the night, that often does ring to my other devices, and I still wouldn't want that bothering me. And I have it set to silence always, not just while the iPad is locked. That way, if I'm, say, running a shortcut, then I don't have to worry about forgetting to end the shortcut and my device staying unlocked and me getting disturbed. And on my iPad, I have allow calls from no one because it's my iPad. So there's nobody that can actually get through when I'm on do not disturb. Now that I'm no longer a caretaker for my grandfather, that's actually true on all my devices. If I'm asleep, I'm pretty sure I can call anyone back. Nothing is that urgent. That was a quick overview on do not disturb. Remember to turn it on the next time you're struggling to focus and there'll be no one to disturb you this time. I find your lack of do not disturbing. 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 Okay, that's what I'm going to say. I find your lack of do not disturbing disturbing. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, I thought I was it. really going to use that. <laughs> okay.